Ladies and gentlemen, Jim McGinnis. Thanks very much, Jim. I couldn't help think, to be honest with you, when when Nadine was speaking and, and the other uh, the lads were speaking there about the work that has been done in Glensville over the last 20 years since the Sam Maguire was in the county last. If you think about it, it's, it's absolutely staggering um, to think the facilities that have been put in place here, the, the club structures that have been put in place here, and what we're talking about. I, this is probably my <clears throat> 40th speech in three days. Um, and one of the things I've spoken about most is the hope that there'll be another flow and another surge of talent coming in the back of the Sam Maguire. And 20 years ago, the cup was here, and this is the byproduct of it in front of us. And that wouldn't happen without the players being developed at club level. So a huge, huge, huge um, level of credit must go to everybody involved in the club, from administration to coaching, to the builders, to everybody else, to try and facilitate a situation where young people get the best opportunity they can to grow and develop in an environment that they can reach their potential. So really, really well done to everybody connected with the club. <laughs> to to the, the players themselves that stand beside me here, I think you've all got a, an insight into the, the three people themselves through their speeches. Very, 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 very good lads, and very honest lads. And I have to say, in line with all the other fellas in front of you tonight, a lot was made of the Stunny Gall team, um, I suppose, a couple of years back, and a lot of ne negative things said about them. But I can assure every single one of you here tonight, I've never had a day's problems with them. They've been, they've been a pleasure to work with. They're, they're hungry for success. They want to achieve in their careers. They uh, have a full focus for their training. They, uh, they have plenty of crack along the way as well. There's no, no shortage of sliding going on. I can assure you that in the back of the bus these last three days. But, um, but they're a pleasure to work with. And I'm just absolutely delighted that all the work that they've put in over the last 20 months anyway has been reflected in a National League, two Ulster Championships and an All-Ireland Championship now. And I'm just delighted that four of the boys, these three men and also everybody else, uh, players here tonight, that, that the good work that they're doing is bringing them a level of a success. And I'm just delighted for them on a personal level and also uh, on the group level. It has been a long bus ride. <laughs> um, four days solid, um, with 50 people and what is it, five meters by 20 meters. Um, so you can imagine what happens in that environment. But as I have to say, what we've experienced as a group of people since Sunday, I suppose since Saturday really, since we were since we were waved off in Donegal Town, and the good wishes of everybody, the the build up to the game, the the morning of the game, the the game itself, and the celebrations that have happened since it's it's just been a phenomenal experience for us all, um, coming back to our own county with the cup, and seeing the joy, and the pride in people's faces uh, that the cup brings is it's absolutely unbelievable and. You know, you're driving along and you just get blown away and you're driving along and 20 minutes later and you get blown away again. It's, it's just incredible. It's incredible, you know, people standing out in the rain for God knows how long, just waiting for the bus to go by so they can wave it a flat split second. It's, it's unbelievable. And people like yourselves, and we're very, very sorry we didn't make it uh, the first night. Um, I suppose, like Kerry, one of the All-Irelands, We'll know better the next time around. Uh, we'll know better the next time around in relation to time management and I suppose 
the, 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 the hunger for the cup meant it was so difficult to move from one place to another, um, which is not a bad thing in itself. But apologies for that, but we're delighted to be here tonight and we're delighted that there's such a strong turnout tonight. And um, I just think as a club and as a community, you should be very proud of these three people in front of me. I know you are very proud of them. And we just hope... You know, we just hope that they're not finished yet. Uh, Finally, I'd just like to thank yourselves, the supporters. Um, every step of the way, you've been with us this year. It has built and built and built through the summer. It's been fantastic. Um, and, you know, we just hope that it'll, it'll grow into the winter now and into the spring again next year and that we'll be back, back a stronger team, a better team. And the, the goodwill that has come in in the last couple of weeks in relation to the final and since the final, that that's going to push the team on to another new level again next year and um, everything can be raised, every, all the bars can be raised again and that's my wish for the team anyway and I just want to thank you from the bottom of my heart so on behalf of myself personally and, and Michael as captain and, um, and all the players and, and support team, it's, it's just been incredible and thank you so, so much. That's it for me and the boys. Boys, the bus journey is over. <laughs>